the minerals minister, the mining minister, Mr Ferguson, apparently over the weekend got quite close to issuing legal threats and legal threats of defamation. In fact, had apparently started legal proceedings. Who was he going after? Well, it wasn't a broadcaster, it wasn't a member of the public, it wasn't a crazy blogger. It was Rob Oakeshott, a fellow member of parliament. Now, Rob Oakeshott had made some comments in Fairfax Press about some concessions that had been given to the mining industry and some deductions that the government traded off to the mining industry when the laws were being put together. Well, Mr Ferguson, the relevant minister, didn't like any of this, so he called in the lawyers to go after Rob Oakeshott for defamation. Now, the Prime Minister, when all of this was pointed out, squashed this one about as quickly as she could possibly do it. But I don't think this is just a scenario where the story needs to be squashed. I think the minister needs to be squashed. Could the Prime Minister please explain how this bloke still has his job? This has nothing to do with the numbers in the parliament. It might be something to do with factional powerhouses. But still, how can a minister who is relevant and responsible for the mining tax threaten to and actually put together, apparently, a legal case against a fellow politician who was criticising him for what he did in his role as the minister? This is the very nature of our politics, right? Can somebody honestly be that sensitive that when they are criticised by a fellow politician, they run off to the lawyers? The Prime Minister, it's not good enough for her to turn around and just simply say, I've had a chat to Mr Ferguson, the thing's been settled down. Well, that's BS. The bloke should be bounced out of the ministry. We don't need overly precious princesses like that sitting around the Cabinet table. We've already had a few of those, but now Kevin Rudd's up the back of the bus.